so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel it's me your girl barista neze neze mwa neze pepe repe and this is neze Bill. welcome guys to another video so i'm out today and i'm on my way to my friend's house she's bereaved she just lost her dad so i'm going to pay some kind of condolence visit i don't know guys but i kind of feel weird going for a condolence visit without going with some kind of gifts let me know in the comment section if you guys go with some kind of gifts when you want to go visit someone that has lost somebody i was thinking of what to buy i didn't know what to buy so i just had to buy like um, juice and biscuits for her children so i'm on my way to her house so while we drive there we're going to be having this very deep conversation we're just going to be talking about something really really kind of controversial so in my last video it was a very sweet romantic one emotional you guys started cried in the comment section again as always and that video was about me talking about my husband and my marriage and the kind of love and marriage that we have all he does for me and i appreciated him with an iphone in that video and that video generated you know lots of comments this video is like flowing from that video and in this video i'm going to be telling you guys why i married a man that i was not in love with <laughs> oh my god so without further ado let us dive right into this so when my husband saw me the very very first day my husband met me it was something like love at first sight he saw me and he was like you are my kind of person like he was sticking to me immediately he saw me like he was swept off his feet <laughs> if a man can be but was i head over heels or did i fall in love immediately i saw my husband or so soon thereafter well the answer is no then why did i go ahead to marry someone that i was not head over in love with i'm going to let you guys know in this video now the first reason why i married a man that i was not in love with was because i understand the psychology of man and woman and i know that it is more important for the man to love the woman and that when the man loves the woman and treats her right shows her love protects her provides for her in the long run it is more likely for her to end up falling in love with him it is very natural women were built to care women were built to love and women were built to nurture it is not a mistake that women are the ones that carry children and bear them a woman's emotional code is more easier to break into than a man's own hardly ever is there any woman that has a man that treasures her except in few cases of course there are always exceptions to every general rule but hardly do you see any woman who has a man that treats her like a queen adores her respects her provides for her cares for her gives her what she wants gives her peace and the woman will still not like that man it is very unlikely women are more likely to fall in love with people that love them than men are likely to fall in love with women that love them and that's a fact now I understood that the tendencies of me falling head over heels and meeting my husband halfway in the love race was more on my path so I was looking for someone that would be more head over heels in love with me than I am in love with him and that's on 100. A woman in a marriage with a good man that treats her right will fall in love with that man, but a man can be in a marriage with a woman that he doesn't have any chemistry with, he doesn't love, and remain in that marriage and just merely tolerate her or be with her out of the maximum emotions that he can feel for her is pity or compassion. But that connection, that attraction, that commitment will not be there. He will just linger on putting the woman through hell and merely staying there because oh she has been there for me she has sacrificed for me she's the mother of my children a man can cohabit with a woman for a long time without being in love with that woman so when i decided that i was grown enough to get married my focus was not on oh i want to meet a man and fall helplessly or head over heels in love with him my focus was on the man that sees me as a queen the man that would love me and treasure me and that was what I was looking for because I know that if I get that man 
falling in love with him would not be difficult and that is exactly what happened now don't get me wrong it's not like i didn't have feelings for my husband of course i wouldn't have married a man that i didn't have feelings for i had very great feelings for him i was attracted to him physically all these things are very important to make you don't go marry your enemies say <laughs> that's the same body who you don't love i had all these feelings who existed but that's crazy oh my god we die ah oh my god 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 it grew with time and I'm happy that it progressed that way. The second reason why I married a man that I was not in love with is because I don't know whether you guys have noticed in as much as I am a very 21st century woman with 21st century goals and visions and dreams and attitude I am still a very traditional person and I have a whole lot of conservativeness in me mm -hmm. yes so i am an african woman an Igbo woman at that and i am very in touch with my culture and my society i understand the society that i live in and i understand what the society accepts what it rebukes and the impact of these societal norms the direct and long-term impact of these societal norms on me as a person i would explain further don't let my grammar this not let my grammar confuse you good so as a typical Igbo woman that wants to get married and stay married and with my kind of personality of course i'm not the kind of person that can be easily silenced or boxed with my kind of personality and the kind of society i find myself i understand that for someone like me driven like me strong personality like me to remain in a marriage long term with the kind of society that i am in i have to find a man who is much much more in love with me than i am with him i will still explain for that now we live in a society where if a man cheats if you don't want you go if you cheat you go if he cheats you go irresponsibility of a man is almost tolerated if not accepted it is tolerated highly tolerated in the african society a man is capable of going out coming back to the house by 3 a.m every day and said he went to hang out with his friends and nobody will say abomination but a woman are you going to leave your children and wear your bomb shorts every day and go clubbing every day and come back by 3 a.m every day no it is not the norm it is not acceptable a man can choose to marry a second wife oh yes and if you're not comfortable with it you can take a walk or you can stay there the african society accepts it but as a woman can i marry a second husband and keep the two of them at home of course not do not let social media comments deceive you or take you away from touch from the touch of reality reality is made from social media life the reality is that there are some practices that are acceptable and inacceptable in different climes and cultures that's americana that you are trying to imitate there are some norms that are not acceptable there that are acceptable in africa and vice versa so given the long rope that men have in africa and it's almost like a woman is at the mercy of a man the only thing that can keep a man level-headed loyal faithful committed coming home staying disciplined in a marriage is just love nothing else is holding him that's if you want to stay married the second option is if you want a divorce which i don't want it's not like um, being a divorcee is a crime or a sin of course where it has become expedient for a divorce to happen I'll, I'll be the first person to say oh go ahead but it's not like it's something that i want so i understand that having a man that loves me tooth and nail is important for me to remain married as a strong african 21st century woman because that is the only thing that can hold a man back society does not condemn it the law does not hold the man down polygamy is legal in nigeria traditionally traditional marriages are, are, are legal in nigeria so if you get married traditionally the man has a right to polygamy so it is a lot of things that the man is allowed to do in the african society that the only thing that can hold him back from doing it is just absolute love for you so i needed to get married to a man whose love is outweighing overshadowing and miles ahead of mine that would keep him now going to a different route entirely the third reason why i married a man that i was not in love with 
is biblically now let us approach this biblically what did the bible say when it comes to marriage and love i don't think oh pardon me there may be some atheist pagans or muslims here but i'm just addressing this from the christian angle right you feel free to drop in the comment section what your religion or belief says okay now biblically there was no part in the bible that i have read of or that i know of that the bible compelled a wife to love the husband what the bible says is woman submit to your husband don't mind that some narcissists are abusing that word submit what the bible was just trying to say by submission is to respect your husband and be loyal to him not for you to be some dummy that has no say of her own or to be subservient or to be a servant that is not what the bible meant the bible understands that the number one love language of a man is respect and loyalty and the number one love language of a woman is love that is why the Bible emphasized that woman, respect your husband, submit to him. Man, love your wife. The Bible understands that a woman can be in a relationship where she's being disrespected, but still interpret it as love. Are you, are you feeling me? Are you understanding me? Do you know that some women that in marriages or relationships where they are beaten, they are slapped, they are caged, they are enslaved, and they interpret it as love. He loves me. That's why he beats me. He loves me. That's why he, he he's policing me. That's why he didn't allow me to walk because he's jealous. He loves me so much. He doesn't want another man to see me, to toast me, to snatch me from him. Interpreting disrespect as love. Because any emotion that a woman can cling in and interpret as love, she is happy in that relationship. But disrespect a man and see whether a man will interpret your disrespect as love. Go to where a man is drinking with his friends and pour him a drink, pull him out of that place, lock him, cage him, insult him, slap him, and see whether he will interpret your disrespect as love. That is what the Bible is trying to make us understand. That for a woman, love is enough. No matter what you put her through, as long as she sees it as love, she's okay. That is why the Bible says, men, love your wife. Because the Bible understands that love is the most important emotion for a woman. But for a man, it's not. If you claim you love your man, but constantly disrespect him, long term, that man would fall out of interest with you, no matter how beautiful you are. Mark my words. Mark this somewhere. I'll tell you for free. At the peripheral phase, he might be infatuated or carried away with your beauty and your charm. But in the long run, a man would definitely fall out of interest and love with a woman, no matter how beautiful she is, that constantly disrespects him or puts him down. Even as Christians, the Bible recognizes that the man should love more. The Bible says, man love your wife as Christ loved the church. Do you understand the depth of the love that Christ had for the church? Christ loved the church even when the church rejected him, even when the church hated him, even when the church betrayed him, even when the church persecuted him. He still loved the church. He died for the church. That, to me, that commandment is even more difficult than the submission commandment because you might not love somebody and still submit to him. Just as many of us submit and are respectful to our bosses in the office does not mean that we love them. But love is a deeper commitment. The kind of love that can make you kill yourself, give up your life for somebody, that's even a deeper commitment. So what am I trying to say? Even the Bible recognizes the importance of a man loving his wife. And I had my eyes focused on that instruction. I needed a man that would love me tooth and nail, willing to give up his comforts, willing to give up his life, willing to give up his money for me. <laughs> Knowing that naturally, when I find that kind of man that can love me in that fashion, submitting to him will not be a task. Because if I love a man that does not love me or respect me or is willing to sacrifice for me, submitting to that man would be an impossibility. And that is my third reason. So guys, I move to my fourth reason. I hope you're following. I'm not, as I always say, I'm not saying this for everybody to agree with me. I am narrating my own experience and my own perception and concept about life. So if you agree with me, please drop in the comment section. If you disagree, respectfully, drop in the comment section too. All right? So my number fourth reason why I married a man that I was not in love with. Remember I said that I loved him, but that crazy, deadly, stupid in love with 
grew over time. It didn't come just like his own came. All right. The first reason is I had a family that loved and accepted him, and he had a family that loved and accepted me. This reason might seem very trivial. You might say, what has the family got to do? But I'll tell you for free. When it comes to marriage in Africa, it is not just a union between two people. Don't let that definition deceive you. The family has a lot of influence, both directly and indirectly on that marriage. Ladies, if you have a man that you want to get married to, and you're not married yet, I'm not talking to those that have already made that mistake, and you're not married yet, and his family despises you, hates you, doesn't accept you, doesn't endorse of that marriage. Please, as long as it's not an Oibo man, if it's in Nigeria here or Africa, run away. Do not get married. Because you would get married and get married to baggages and get married to problem and get married to, to misery. So, seeing him and seeing the way his mother took me, his sisters took me, and on my own side too, my family embraced him. I had other suitors, but the first day my mother set my eyes on my husband, she endorsed him. Her spirit connected with him. She was totally taken by him. When um, I was in a fix, a dilemma on who to marry amongst my suitors, and I was asking my mom, mommy, you know, there's something we say in Africa that what a parent sees sitting down on the floor, a child cannot see it when he or she climbs up and up on an Iroko tree. So I asked my mom, what do you think about these men coming? She, laid, she, she tabled them. She said, if you're looking for a level-headed husband that would give you peace of mind, make you happy, dedicated to the family, go for this your husband. Go for this man. That's the man that became my husband. But if you're looking for a boyoyo, hip-hop, flexing you, club, party, oh, go for this one. If you're looking for this, go for this one. She tabled it and I made my choice. Nobody talks me into marrying anybody. I made my choice. I weighed the pros and cons. I know what I wanted. I wanted peace. I wasn't looking for a man that would make me rich. I wasn't want, I wasn't desirous of being a rich man's wife. Not like anything is bad about that. I wanted to be a rich wife, not just a rich man's wife. Okay, I wanted to be a rich man's wife and also a rich wife. So I needed a man that would give me peace, not just money. And that was another thing I chose about my husband. Even my friends, all my friends that met my husband were like, husband material, 1,000 yards. Like, <laughs> this guy is husband material, 1,000 yards. Everybody could see the writing on the wall. The families connected. His mother and my mother connected. And I understand that having a family that agree, that accepts us, is a basic foundation to make that marriage work and today you guys see i am my mother-in-law there is no regret that i put family into consideration when making a choice for a spouse and guys here we are at our final point the fifth and final reason why i married a man that i was not in love with is that he had the prospects the qualities of what I was capable of falling in love with. So despite the fact that I wasn't madly in love when we just met, I have seen his prospects, I have studied his person, and I have seen that he has everything that I am capable of falling in love with. He was decent, he was responsible, he is, not just was. He is decent, he's responsible, he's respectful, his patience, his kind, his everything that I know that with these features, Inogo had me to love. <laughs> Inogo had me to love him. So yes, all those things were very important to me and I put them into consideration. Very, very disciplined. My husband came all the way from Port Harcourt to see me in Lagos. He was in a hotel. Even when I visit him, all those madness that some young guys come with, that you start doing temple run up and down. <laughs> temple run. <laughs> A rat race up and down <laughs> it didn't happen the, rest, he, the discipline was it blew me off my as in it, it, it blew me off he was generous he was he was he knew his responsibilities never for once when i and my husband dating that i had to ask him oh baby i need airtime or i need money and i need to do my hair or those things that some akagom guys will not use their intuition he was intuitive he knew that since i was dating this girl 
It's my responsibility to ensure that I keep her at that standard where I met her. I didn't have to ask him. I didn't have to build him. I didn't have to persuade him to provide. He's a provider. And he started providing for me even before we got married. So why would I see all these qualities in a man that would be to my own benefits? Then I will now wait and say, oh, no, no, no. I must fall head over heels in love with him first. <laughs> love Bogi there. <laughs> He is walking there. <laughs> so my darling sisters and brothers, for the guys listening, he possessed all the features and qualities that I know would eventually make me fall in love with him. And that is exactly what happened. It wasn't long before I too became madly in love with him. So my dear ladies, these words, these my last words are for my ladies. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Even if you're already married, you see, when a woman is helplessly, stupidly, crazy and dangerously in love, she loses her logic. A man can be in love but still have his senses on. But when a woman is in love, it's like logic and sense flees from her. She starts acting illogically and irrationally. Crying, getting emotional, getting over hot, every little thing, expecting too much, wanting too much of the person and you end up wearing the person out. You end up wearing him thin. You, you, you drag him so much, you scratch him thin, that he now loses interest in you. Men love mystery. They don't want you to be in their faces all the time. You come, you, you, you perplex them, you bamboozle them, you withdraw, you let them miss you. But when you are madly in love, you are more in love with your husband, with your boyfriend, than he is with you, lady, he's going to take advantage of it. And you are going to lose your value and self-worth to him. So even in marriage, I would advise you, love your husband, be madly in love with him, but you should always check your emotions. Make sure that your husband's love is matching up with yours. Not be only you, waka come for the love journey. Not be only you, waka come. Love but use your sense. Okay, let me not go into another topic. We are going to discuss that another day. How to pepperize, mesmerize, and freakyize your man. <laughs> we are going to discuss all of that in another video. So guys, we have finally come to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So these are my reasons why I got married to a man that I was not madly in love with. Why I looked out for a man that loves me more than a man that I love. And I thank God that it worked for me. I pray it works for you too. If you've not given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not. Turn on your bell notifications because there's plenty to get from this channel, okay? Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze. Neze mwa. Neze pepe And this is Neze Bill. Bye, guys. Mm.